Number 10. When did humans start wearing clothes? If you've ever wondered why and when humans started wearing clothes, you're in for a treat. When did shame actually start? Archaeologists in Morocco have discovered the first evidence of early humans making clothing over 100,000 years ago. As it turns out, humans may have been wearing clothes for up to 120,000 years. The find didn't come in the form of Stone Age loincloths, though, but rather in the form of 62 tools made from bone. According to researchers, these bone tools found inside of a cave were used for processing and smoothing animal skins. If you're wondering where the clothes are, the truth is that organic materials tend to decay much faster than things like bone and stone. This is why organic materials like skin, leather, food, wood aren't found very often by archaeologists unless somehow mummified or preserved in ice. These tools, since they were clearly developed for processing animal skins, are the closest evidence we have to prehistoric clothing. The people living in the cave probably figured out that they could steal the fur from animals that they hunted and then use it for themselves to keep warm during the winter. They didn't have a fur coat, so they made one. According to Emily Hallett, the lead scientist working on the discovery, the animal furs that humans used to make the first clothing came from sand foxes, golden jackals, and wild cats. The strangest part is that they didn't use hides from cattle-like animals, instead only using them for meat. But what scientists haven't figured out is just why humans started wearing clothing and what the clothing looked like. There was no extreme weather back then in what is today Morocco, so they don't know if the clothing was meant to keep warm or just because Stone Age people started getting a little shy. Number 9. The Disappearing Tomb A team of archaeologists in Scotland discovered a pair of mysterious carved balls while excavating an ancient tomb on the Orkney Islands, with the tomb itself dating back to 5,500 years ago. It's called the Disappearing Tomb because erosion is slowly pulling it into the sea. Professor Vicky Cummings recently told Scottish News that the tomb was created by Neolithic people as part of a settlement they'd built in the area. They've been excavating it since 2017, but they are still not sure who was buried here. In fact, scientists aren't even sure what the carved stone balls were used for. They were uncovered along with some pieces of bone and pottery, but they don't quite fit in anywhere. They've hypothesized that the stone balls may have been used as weapons, or perhaps some sort of tool? Only about 500 of them have been found in Scotland, with just 20 found in Orkney. The tiny stone balls may have been used like heavy BBs and a sling, used as projectile weapons instead of bows and arrows. The prehistoric people would have put the balls in a slingshot-type device, then swung them around their head and threw them at their enemies. Number 8. Priceless Shipwreck A priceless ancient shipwreck in the middle of the Namibian desert sounds quite strange. The last place you'd expect to find a shipwreck is outside of the ocean, and yet here we are. The ship dates back to 1533, when it set sail from Lisbon in Portugal. It was sailing past the coast of Namibia on its way to India before it suddenly went missing, and none of the crew were ever seen again. It was carrying a cargo of gold coins and other treasures, and after it vanished, nobody laid eyes on it until 2008, when miners working in the desert found the broken ship along with its forgotten treasure worth an estimated $9 million. The boat was found when the miners drained an artificial lagoon in the middle of the desert. Somehow, the vessel had crashed into the shore, was buried by the desert sands, and then the sand slowly pushed it inland until it ended up in the miners' camp. And in case you're confused, the coastline where the ship was wrecked is one of the only ones in the world where the desert sand spills into the sea. It's not a rocky beach with sea cliffs, the desert literally ends at the ocean. So far, the shipwreck has been hailed as the most valuable ever found in Africa. Sure, there was a lot of gold discovered, but there were other fascinating historical relics as well, such as navigational instruments and pieces of pottery. They even found human bones that belong to the lost crew members. Number 7. What is the oldest archaeological site in the world? It's time to learn about the oldest archaeological site in the world. And no, it's not Stonehenge or the pyramids in Egypt. Those don't even come close. To give you an example of how long humans have been around, our most distant ancestors appeared on Earth somewhere around 6 million years ago. The oldest archaeological site that contains evidence of this prehistoric world before civilization is in Africa. 
but there are actually two spots that hold the title of oldest archaeological site in the world. There is one place in Kenya and another in Ethiopia. The first site is called Lomekwi 3, and it was here that the bones of hominin creatures that lived 3.3 million years ago were found. Archaeologists also found ancient stone artifacts at the site, though these stone objects aren't much more than rocks shaped kind of like hammers. The hominins that lived here were Australopithecus afarensis, a kind of human animal that lived long before we did. Jason Lewis, the assistant director at the Turkana Basin Institute, told Life Science that Lomekwi 3 is the oldest known archaeological site anywhere on the planet. However, some scholars believe the oldest site is actually in Ethiopia, at a place called Gona. It was here where archaeologists uncovered ancient stone tools going back 2.6 million years. The reason some believe this is the oldest site is that there is no contention among scientists. At Lomekwi 3, a lot of experts have expressed doubts that the site dates back as far as the claims say. Either way, the oldest archaeological sites in the world date back to between 2.6 and 3.3 million years, containing the first stone tools known to humankind. Number 6. The Vajra The Vajra, according to Hindu mythology, is a weapon that possessed the strength of thunder, the indestructibility of a diamond, and the ability to open doors to other realms of existence. It is said that when two demons, Namuchi and Vritra, invaded Earth, they stole all the light and all of the water, leaving the land dry and dark. The god Indra tried to defeat them, but he didn't have a weapon that was strong enough. He then went to visit Vishnu, one of the most supreme gods in all of Hindu mythology. Vishnu ordered his divine carpenter to make the most powerful weapon. And this turned out to be the Vajra, which was able to make thunderclaps because it was so strong. Indra used the new weapon to electrocute the demons and return light and water to the planet. But what about the ancient god weapon in archaeological terms? Has anyone ever actually found the weapon? Unfortunately, the answer is no. Buddhism actually adapted the Vajra weapon into a symbol of peace, and so recreations of it have been found all throughout India and Asia where Buddhism is practiced. But nobody has ever found the physical weapon itself, capable of killing demons and weaponizing thunder. What would you do if you had a weapon this powerful? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe while you're at it! Number 5. Peru's Desert Calendar Archaeologists working in Peru had their minds blown when they discovered an ancient solar calendar carved into the sand of the desert. It's called the Chanquillo Observatory, and it's one of the oldest of its kind anywhere on the planet. It's definitely the oldest anywhere in North or South America. It's 2300 years old, constructed out of 13 stone towers at the top of a hill. And while from the outside it may look like some kind of medieval fortification, it was actually designed to be a working calendar, a kind of prehistoric observatory. Local Peruvians had known about the site for a long time, but researchers didn't actually figure out it was a calendar until 2007, and then it was only designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site last summer. The ancient civilization who built the observatory slash calendar used it to determine the position of the sun, predict the upcoming solstices and equinoxes, and to determine what day it was with startling precision. It helped them to plan harvests and hold yearly ceremonies. The biggest mystery right now is that scientists can't figure out who built the observatory. Because it's so ancient, and because the desert sands have eroded so much of the structure, there is very little to tell us more about the experts who built it. All they know is whoever it was came way before the Inca. And now for number 4. But first, wanted to give a big shout out to Rebecca Pelzinski and Alan McCoy. Thanks so much for spending time with us. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like these. Number 4. Ancient Roman Coin An Israeli soldier stumbled upon something completely unexpected last year. The soldier is with the Israeli Defense Forces, also known as the IDF. He was in the middle of a training exercise when he noticed something shiny sticking out of the dirt. He dug the shiny object out of the soil and was shocked to realize he was holding an ancient Roman coin. After handing the artifact over to the Israel Antiquities Authority, they were able to determine that the coin was minted 1800 years ago, probably in the year 158. On one side of the coin is an image of the Roman Emperor Antoninus Pius. 
The other side of the coin shows the Syrian moon god. Plus, there is an engraving on the coin that says, of the people of Geva Philippi. The engraving simply means that the coin came from the city of Geva Philippi. Back in the Roman days, it was common for cities to make their own coins and then mark them. Number 3. Oldest Human Burial In Africa, archaeologists have unearthed what they say could be one of the oldest human burials ever found. The discovery was made in the Panga Ya Saidi Cave of Kenya, located in the nation's tropical uplands no more than 10 miles from the coast. Researchers found the ancient remains of a young child, only three years old. The child had been placed in a burial with their legs held against their chest, wrapped in a shroud, and with their head placed on a pillow. Considering the scientists managed to date the remains back 80,000 years, it's the oldest incident of a person being purposely buried in an actual grave anywhere in Africa. Believe it or not, it took archaeologists four long years to excavate the child's bones. It's because they were so delicate that when researchers began the excavations, some of the skeleton turned to dust immediately. It was a painstaking process that involved the excavators digging around the actual grave site so that the bones weren't disturbed. Unfortunately, they still haven't solved the mystery of the dead child. They don't know why the prehistoric people who lived here decided abruptly that they would start burying their dead. According to Professor Nicole Boyvin, humans around this time started to develop a belief system around death, which is probably what led to the burial. Number 2. Ancient Russian Settlements In Russia, researchers have uncovered a group of ancient settlements near the Viletma River that date back 10,000 years. The settlements were created by the Butovo culture, a group of hunter-gatherers who lived during the Middle Stone Age. Ancient activity in the region was first identified back in the 1970s, but this was the first time that a full-scale excavation has been conducted. Approximately five sites were investigated, with one of them containing actual dwellings. As far as the experts can figure out, these settlements may have been seasonal, meaning that people were returning to them each year to hunt and fish before going back to their nomadic lives. The archaeologists have uncovered flint artifacts along with a massive amount of animal and fish bones. They have found arrowheads, fragments of axes, and even scrapers used for tearing off the hide of dead animals. Number 1. Roman Sarcophagi Strange Roman sarcophagi have been discovered by Israeli archaeologists. The reason they are so strange is that they were covered in mystical symbols that archaeologists say were used to protect the souls of the dead as they journeyed into the afterlife. According to a statement from the Israel Antiquities Authority, the stone coffins have been dated back to around 200 BC. Amazingly, they were found during construction work at a safari park in the city of Tel Aviv. And to make things even stranger, an initial discovery was made 25 years ago during the construction of the parking lot at the safari park. But archaeologists weren't allowed to dig up any more of the business. Recently, thanks to a new construction project, Archaeologists finally had the chance to uncover more of the ancient relics buried here. So far, only two sarcophagi have been found. The ancient coffins were made out of stone, probably for a husband and wife. They were identical in every way, even with the same mysterious markings on the lids of the sarcophagi. Plus, they were decorated with unique discs meant to be symbols of high status. In other words, the couple was probably rich before they died, or at least rich enough that they could afford such lavish burials. Archaeologists are still trying to work out why the coffins were found underneath the safari park. They haven't found evidence of a larger cemetery, and there are no other ruins to speak of. It could have been a private burial, but either way, the sarcophagi are now protected by the Israel National Treasures Department, with some experts believing there could be more mysterious relics hidden underneath the habitats of the giraffes and elephants living in the park. Thanks for watching! Which of these mysterious discoveries intrigued you the most? What do you want to learn more about? Let me know in the comments below and remember to hit that subscribe button and join the Origins Explained family. See you later!